thank you for tuning in. My name is Joey Skadoosh Moss of Bad Boy Gaming. And we're going to go over the top 25 most expensive, most fantastic, most amazing pieces of altered art on a magic card that have sold in the last three months. Let's get down to it. First up in front of your face, four noble hierarchs. Oh yes, oh yes, these bad boys are nasty. I like those ones. It's all four seasons. Very, very cool. I really want to know your guys' take on altered art cards. Do you own any? Do you love them? Do you hate them? These are cool. <laughs> now, the art... It may not be the best on these, but they are funny and goofy looking, I guess. Maybe that's the maybe that's the route uh, the artist was going to take there. I believe these are Christopher Rush signed as well. Yeah, I, th I think he was just playing for goofs. I think if he was any more accurate, he might get in trouble. I don't know. <laughs> but four signed brainstorms. Christopher Rush is definitely making a killing off of his signature, and uh, with good reason, too. Um, and his altered art. He just took um, four $5 cards and uh, turned them into $50 cards each with a signature on it and some art. Very cool. Scrubland, 233 bucks. Now, here's my deal with Altered Arts, okay? And uh, I, I, I got to know what you guys think on this. But here's my take. Couple things. One, you can't use them in a tournament, so they're only pretty to look at. Like Seriously, you're buying these just as a piece of art and nothing else. That's it. Just as a piece of art. Can't use them. They weigh too much. Um, this one's by Jesper. Looks like he signed the back of it, too. Incredible work there, Jesper. You really gave it your all here, and it shows. That, that's a joke. That's a joke. Why so little detail? Anyway. Lightning bolt, pretty sweet. Um, here's my other quarrel with, uh, with altars. And now I have a lot of respect for the artists. I mean, I think this lightning bolt altar is just fantastic. I, I would love to have this framed in my in my office all right like this is disgusting this looks sweet and i like pirate ships and lightning bolts so those two go together pretty well for me but my other little qualm or quarrel with this is how do you know they're real how do we know these are real how do you know they're authentic I mean, claim it, I mean, a revised two hundred eighty-two dollars sixty-seven cent land. That's that's ridiculous, um, and it's altered. Now, I I get the reason a lot of people do alters of older cards is because the card is so significantly damaged that it might as well be altered. But then there's altered cards that are flawless and in just amazing condition. And they get altered. You gotta wonder why. I, mean, I guess if people are willing to pay for it, why not? I mean, they are paying a premium on this, but look at the detail on these cards. I mean, this has to take someone a few hours to do, at least. And that's if they're like a, a, a professional artist. I, I'm, I don't know enough about Magic the Gathering, or I don't know enough about, I know a little bit about Magic the Gathering, let me tell you. Uh, I, I don't know enough about what it's like being an artist and, and time and, you know, I, I couldn't be an artist. I could not do this. I couldn't even do this. I'm not saying, like, it's, it's amazing, uh, <laughs> but... I, I I probably couldn't even trace over this with a pencil or a pen. I probably couldn't even do that. That's how bad. Uh, this is Mark Tedden on his soul ring. Pretty ridiculous. 300 bucks. 
Is it a beta? Sure is. 300 bucks. Buy you. Over $300. I guess I just, how do you know they're real? Because if they're all painted up, I guess the backside helps a bit, but still. Um, they also, there's a thing called a rebacks or rebacking, you know? Couldn't they just throw on a, a fake back? Or, or I guess maybe use a real back of a card and slip on some other crap on the front and then just go over? I, I mean, I don't know. This is phenomenal work, by the way. You really gave it your all here, Rob. And it shows. <laughs> it's like you drew shadow people. <laughs> I mean, the polluted Delta on its own is already worth, uh, the foil version is worth a nice chunk. But I guess he definitely increased it a bit. <laughs> Amazing artwork. <laughs> I, would not, I would not pay for this. I'm, I'm just saying, I, I would not pay for that one. Tundra revised. Look at the elk, look at the elk. But my, yeah, it's just, how do you, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't, I, I wouldn't, I don't think I'd spend this kind of money on these. I think they're wonderful pieces of art. I really, really do. But I'd rather have the original damaged than have an altered card. Now, if I was buying this and putting it on my wall... That's a different story. But at these prices, no. I could not. And I'm talking about older cards. Alter arts in general, beautiful, gorgeous, I love them. But the older cards, I don't know, I just don't think, I don't think they should be altered. I really don't. No, 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 no. Unless I guess it's just beat to crap, then by, by all means, go for it. Ah! Yeah! It's the guy's cradle. If you guys didn't see that video yesterday, you gotta watch it. Check it out. A guy's cradle got the axe. Ridiculous. Tundra. I mean, I find these very beautiful. Oh, this this I love. This I love. Tell me your favorite out of these. These are gorgeous. Oh, so pretty. Look at that blood moon. My favorite's on the bottom left here. Wait till we get to it. Ooh, look at those puppies. Bottom left, the dark corner. Oh, I love those. I love those on the bottom there. That whole chunk on the bottom left. Which one you guys like? The moons are cool too. Fantastic. Oh, I like that beach one as well. Moxes. So the play set of moxes. That's like a hundred bucks each. I mean, that's what they're really going for right now. So that's phenomenal. I mean, what was wrong with these? Are these, are these real? Are these real? I don't know. Underground C. 471 bucks. That's steep. I mean, it's cheaper than the original, but. Volcanic Island, gorgeous, as always. These only get more expensive. They're not getting any cheaper, fellas. Library of Alexandria. So yeah, you can't use them in a tournament, and... How are you for certain they're real? <laughs> 
that's that's I think a kicker for me. Because most of the card is covered up. This one's weird. Five hundred eighty-five bucks. Keep in mind, a Beta Island is only worth at most in pristine condition two hundred bucks. The average Beta Island selling is maybe selling for ten bucks, roughly. I'm talking a pristine one. That means there's nothing wrong with the card. It's like graded. And that one sold for 500 Ridiculous. This is neat. Black Lotus, Christopher Rush. Signed. He's the original uh, artist, in case you didn't know, of the Black Lotus. The most iconic card in all of Magic, I believe. If there's a more iconic card, let me know. Anything Power 9 really stands out. This one, I, this is not signed by the artist. This, no, it's not Mark Poole's signature. This was uh, an altar by the guy who owned the card. What kind of altar is that? <laughs> 650 bucks. He just scribbled on it when he was a kid or something. Here we go. The old Max. That is gorgeous. Nine hundred dollars, gorgeous. Mox Ruby details, details. Look at these details. There's got to be like twenty different colors going on in this sucker. Holy smokes! Brilliant. That one's really nice. Time walk, of course. Take an extra turn. After this one. Only a two drop. Could you imagine? That's a sorcery. Never mind, it's garbage. Ancestral recall. So he basically <laughs> drew some spaceships. Mark Poole's like, you know what? I'm going to put some flying saucers up here. Give it a little moon. Sure, here you go, kid. 1500 bucks. <laughs> Time twister. This one's not bad. Really, really nice. What do you guys think? Are you a fan of these altars? Would you, If you had millions of dollars, would you go and, and spend money on this? Or would you get the real deal? Huge appreciation to anyone who does altered art. For sure. I'm just... With the older stuff, I don't know. It's got to be the really damaged, but still, I would rather take the damage. The very severely damaged card over the card being altered. If I had the choice. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let me Give me some reasons. Whichever route you take there, let me know. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And, uh... In case I don't see ya, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. PLA.